Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video, we're gonna be creating a gyroid entrance. So if you're interested in content like this and you wanna see more in the future, I'd appreciate if you'd like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time that I post, but let's get right into it. So I've been really into designing entrances lately. I really enjoyed just kind of designing whatever I want and then tearing it down and doing another one. And entrances are just my favorite part of the island to decorate. So we're gonna be doing another one today and there's no specific theme of this. I just wanted it to be full of greenery and I also really wanted to showcase the gyroids. I haven't done a build with them yet. And when I started this, this wasn't necessarily the direction I was trying to go. I added all of these storefronts and it takes it into a kind of gyroid country store kind of direction, which is fine. But I do want to do another build more of like a gyroid forest, a little more of a natural vibe. But with this one, I decided to just stick to it and I really wanted to use just a bunch of green and brown, really layering it and making it feel super cluttered. I also try to add in as many bushes and trees as I can get to fit so it'll feel even more full. When I have areas terraformed like this, where it's kind of a narrow pathway leading somewhere, I really like that fullness that these bushes and trees give. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna let y'all watch me build for a little bit and then I'll come back and talk some more about what I'm doing. Okay, so setting up this second tier was actually a lot more challenging than doing the first level. Number one, it's just limited space, so you have to really be strategic about which items you're placing first, and so there was a lot of back and forth with that. Plus, the villagers kept getting in my way, so I had to deal with that as well.
Now before we get back into the build, I want to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to help you build your online presence, but also help you run your business. They offer custom templates, which makes creating your website so easy. It was easy enough that even I created my own website. All you have to do is choose your favorite style and then replace the existing items with your own text and graphics. You can embed your videos directly on the site, plus you can even add all of your social media accounts and even sell your merch. Be sure to head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash consulcato to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. So at this point of the build, I'm really just trying to get the layering of all of this right. Layering and spacing are so important when you're doing a really full or cluttered area. So you're gonna see me moving things around, trying different positions of everything. And it doesn't help that every villager on this island is right in this area. And then Joey and Callie decide to block me in as I'm trying to place these party lights. And I couldn't get them to move except for to talk to them, so that's what I'm doing here, is trying to figure all of this out. But once I got everything situated, I really love the way this left side turned out, and then I'm gonna start working on the right side. So because the left side was so cluttered, this right side definitely doesn't have as much stuff. I think there are probably a few more things that I can add, especially on this second tier cliff on the right. But honestly, it's kind of hard to fit any more stuff in these areas because just the way that you can't plant trees on the edges without doing the special cliff tree method. And I honestly just didn't have the patience to do that today. So we stuck with the normal trees. Okay, so last but not least, I'm working on this back cliff, trying to get it as perfect as I can, and really trying to fill that blank space, especially in the top left corner. 
So I'm gonna add some more trees, add a couple more items, and then we will wrap up this build. All right, here we are with the final product, a gyroid entrance. I don't know what to call this. Gyroid country store, general stores, a gyroid town. I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I love this. I don't know if I could make an entire island out of it, but I do love the way that it turned out, and I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.